I'm Ryan Spearman. Welcome to another edition of OnlineLessonVideos.com. This is Clawhammer Banjo for the Complete Beginner, Volume 5, Part 1. So as I mentioned on an earlier video, uh, this time you shouldn't be feeling too much like a beginner. Um, this is a series that was designed to rapidly move you from beginner status, completely new to the instrument, to um, knowing all the essential techniques. And today, on lesson five, we're going to cover a lot of ways to combine a lot of these uh, right and left hand techniques that we've learned so far. And we're going to play a couple different styles of one single tune. We're going to learn the tune Liberty, and we're going to play it in with two different approaches that I think are kind of the fundamental um, pr approaches you can use for a fiddle tune. We're going to use a melodic style and a rhythmic style. So we'll start with the melodic version in part one. Let's make some noise. All right, we're going to start part one of this lesson with the melodic version of the fiddle tune, Liberty. Um, we're going to, by the end of this two-part lesson, cover the melodic and the rhythmic approach to this tune, give you an example of those two distinct ways of rendering a tune onto the claw and banjo. Um, the melodic approach is just how the name would imply. You're going to try to play every one of the notes of the melody as you know it in your arrangement. Um, a lot of times you may have noticed in a clawhammer arrangement we might drop a few a few or a lot of the melody notes um, in order to keep the banjo aspect of it going and leave enough in there so that it's a recognizable melody. In the melodic approach we try to play as if we're a lead instrument. So this is an approach you'd want to use if you were playing a solo or, a, or if you were performing as a solo or lead instrument and you wanted to get all those melody notes in. We'll talk more about the other approach later. Uh, so in order to make an, a melodic arrangement uh, climber style for this tune, we're going to have to know the basic melody. So let me play that for you right now. And you can check this out on the tab as well if you want to reference the basic melody from which we're going to build this arrangement. That's the A part there, and of course we're going to repeat that. And then we'll play the B part. It's going to sound like this. the B part as I know it and of course you'll repeat that as well just like our other tunes you repeat the A you repeat the B so on and so on um, it's really important if you're not already familiar with this tune to learn that basic melody and also listen to the examples as often as you can until you've really got it in your head um, it's really an important part of this music to have it have it firmly in your in your mind uh, before you try to produce it on the instrument with that in mind, let's go ahead and start the melodic version phrase by phrase. All right, we're going, going to approach this phrase by phrase like we always do. Remember the first phrase we played for this basic melody. Uh, it's really a pretty long phrase. You may even think of it as two phrases. I'll, let me give you the first little part. Really simple. We already know that the basic melody is. So that's a nice little quarter note melody. All we got to do is fill in a little fifth string drone. So we'll just turn, we, again, we weave that boom chicka motion that we learned in the beginning. We weave that into the melody. So it's boom, chicka, boom, chicka. Just adding that fifth string in there. Pretty simple. Second part of that phrase, or the second phrase, however you want to look at it. That's our basic approach. We're not going to be able to... 